What is up everybody? It's the Inhuman one here with part 6 of the Death's Door stream. We have beat the game as of stream number 5 that we did about 2 days ago and we did it in about 8 hours. We are able to clear about 77.9% of the game but I, that's not good enough for me. I want 100% completion. And I'm hoping to get as close as possible to doing that in this video. So what we plan to do is explore the end game of Death's Door and do everything we can to explore 100% and collect 100% of the items. So without further ado, let's get started. I would like to say once again that this game has been pretty solid. I love the boss fights um, and a lot of the different, I guess the variety of the different levels. The collectibles were a lot of fun and the story was fantastic. Um, I have actually completed a video uh, on the lore and the story on my main channel, so be sure to check that out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and talk to everybody, see what's changed. This is the first time I've played upon beating the game, so uh, let's take a look around. Ball Plart, it looks like all the crows have actually moved from the Hall of Doors, so we ran away from the Hall of Doors before the boss showed up. It's weird, these crows always know what's coming next. Kinda gets my guard senses tingling. They say their info comes from their shrine to a higher power. Makes you wonder. Indeed it does. Agatha says, I dragged my favorite typewriter with me when we abandoned the Hall of Doors. I couldn't imagine my life without it. It sure is heavy though. I bet those are heavy. Darwin the Vault Keeper says, While we no longer have access to the Soul Vault, I can still use excess soul energy to enhance your combat abilities. That is what is up. So we're back, and now we're going to go ahead and do... You know what? Before haste, we're actually going to do magic. I want more uh, magic power. I want to do as much damage as possible. Wait, so who is this? That wasn't... That's Darwin. So who's this little bro? Rook. Well done, foretold crow. We knew you could do it. You'll always have a home here, friend. Come on, little chickies. This is Raven. It says, it seems there are still nine shrines you have yet to find. Find them and they will surely help you on your quest. What does Vega have to say? Well done, friend. I never doubted you for a second. It will take some time for the world to heal and the order of nature to be restored. We crows will aid the process in any way we can. We got Chandler the Handler and he says, All this time spent in a meaningless job serving a leader who almost certainly never cared about any of us. It's a difficult thing to process, but I am hopeful for the future of the workers I manage and for the future of the world, although slightly anxious about what comes next. Jackdaw says, thanks to you, the world can begin the process of healing and being rebuilt. I'm excited to see what comes next. Badger the Reaper says, that's a heck of an impressive feat, that, taking out the boss. I hope our lives don't end up worse as a result of all this chaos. And Corvus, in this time of change, it is important that than ever, it, I'm sorry, it is more important than ever for us to seek guidance from the gate of knowledge. So that means that we need to somehow open up this gate of knowledge here. Um, so let's go ahead and work on that. I don't know how we get back to the Hall of Doors. Oh, never mind, we'll try this. The old-fashioned way, opening the door. Apparently they still work, even though the last of the Lord of Doors has been defeated. But he did leave behind a memento. I think he left behind a shiny thing in the end credits. Ooh, what is going on here? The doors are red. And I'm not sure what that means. Okay, Betty's there. That's a boss area. So maybe red means I haven't collected all the secrets. And these white lines, we've seen them all throughout. That probably means I'm missing something. <laughs> Very realistically. I want the noodle shop to open up. And it probably never will. No worries. Let's go ahead and head back to the area where we faced off with the last of the Lord of Doors. The last Lord. And he left us something. There you go. A key. You found a rusty bell tower key, and we know exactly where that is. That's actually on the summit. The Lord of Doors must have dropped it. Oh my goodness. 
I am super excited about that because I know exactly where to go. I even called it on the first stream whenever I said, hey, you know what? There's a rusty lock. We're probably going to need a rusty key. And I was correct, Amundo. So let's go to the Lost Cemetery. And let's use this key. And I was going to, because I didn't know that it was going to be a very defined end game, I was just going to go through starting from area one and just kind of search everything I can using the abilities that I have obtained to find all the secrets. But th I would like to see what this, uh, this rusty bell tower key can do. One shot. Oh, I love it. We're so OP right now. I have a feeling, though, that uh, this power might not last so long, this OP feeling of mine, because uh, it's very possible that um, we're going to end up facing off with enemies that are, I'd say, more, you know, more leveled, more prepared for the damage we can do. So we're going to go up this way, and we know exactly where it's at. It's just straight ahead. That is really awesome. Let's see what it does. Yes. We opened it. Exciting. It is just a bell tower, but I say we hit it. Oh my gosh, we made it nighttime. And it's daytime. Okay, this is awesome. So, we can change time. Let's keep it night for now. Um, I can only imagine that that's going to allow us to unlock more secrets or something. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Is he bad? I can't even tell if it's bad or not. What? What did that even do? I am so confused right now. What? Do we just need to defeat these things? Unfortunately, they bump through walls, so I really hate that. I'm just going to use heavy strikes, because... Yeah, they go through all, <laughs> all manner of physics and geometry. All right, here it goes. We're going to use a fancy attack. Are you serious? Do I need to knock him back over to that door? Are they just... I don't even know if they're hostile. Let's just get touched by one. Come on, little guy. Maybe I just need to guide him to these other areas here. Do you need to come over here? Come on. No. That must mean that there's another um, similar statue that needs to be activated, maybe? Come on, little guy. You're really slow. Maybe that's why you can hit them. Make them go faster. So they're not hostile, which is really cool. I need you over here, bub. So he was in this area. Maybe there is a statue over here. There's another one. Jeez Louise again. Alright, come over here, bud. You're just gonna hang out over there, aren't ya? I am intrigued and confused. Can I go in here? That's the one with the matching tower, which... Uh, it looks like changing it to night just kind of gives you different puzzles to solve, maybe. Let's see. Do we see any, you know, lock and key looking fools up here? So he's not following me. I wonder if that means... We're going too far. Yeah, that's the beast area. So let's go down here. I don't know. I'm sure he'll respawn. He's following me. Okay, good. Good job. Come to me. Ooh, we can bust through this now. That's fine. We're going to solve that little puzzle later. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I don't miss that strike. 
to you're supposed to do three strikes. Come on. Ouch. They're still, they're not any easier, that's for sure. They don't get any easier. Sloppy, but it'll do. I need you to charge me. Discount Smo. I died. So close, but anyways, I am super intrigued. We found out how to change it from daytime to nighttime. So it looks like the Lord of Doors left us with the rusty key, which can give us the ability to ring the bell tower and change from day to night. So, really cool. You know what I'm probably going to do? And you guys are probably going to be like, why are you doing this? I'm going to change it back to daytime so that I know because I'm familiar with the daytime aspect so there's clearly puzzles that can only be solved in night but it's very possible that there's other puzzles that can only be solved in the daytime so or in the night yeah in the daytime so with that being said I think it's best that we go to what we know which would be exploring the rest of the daytime and we know that if there's any kind of of those statues or anything like that that we can go back and change from day to night or vice versa so that we can solve the rest of the puzzle so i think that's a decent idea it's going to allow us to uh explore the pretty side of town i think it was up here our little ghost friend was just not having it. I don't know where his little designated statue area was, but we'll find it for him and we'll have him rest there and activate that door. I'm sure that it's useful for some reason. And that is a shrine that we've yet to access. So maybe when we defeat the discount Smo, he'll give us access to this area. No, oh my gosh. Oh, whoa, bro. Not quite fast enough. I, I really can't wait to get another uh, hell, oh, life shrine. That was a little too far. I don't know how that hit me, but that's fine. There you go. Made quick work of them that time. I was a little bit more prepared. I don't think there's anything this side. Nope. Just a ill-placed chandelier. This should be the roundabout way to get to that shrine. And it is. Another magic shrine, which I really wish we could find a vitality shrine. But that's fine, I'll take anything. So now we have only eight shrines to go. Two shards, two more razor magic capacity. Very cool. So we have eight more. Nice. I'm happy about that. So first um, major secret of the day, aside from the rusted key, of course. I'm liking this stream already. So this is technically the first area, so um, let's continue exploring it. I'm not going to leave any major areas just yet because that would be the Stranded Sailors area. Uh, I'm going to stay in the Lost Cemetery so that we can uh, try and find the remaining secrets here. I know that there is a twin tower. Um, see this simple structure has a twin. A hidden secret lies within. So we'll go and try and find that because we know it's around here somewhere. 
So let's go ahead and uh, do some exploring. Nothing over here. That's fine. We'll go around. Come down this way. And there's the statue right there. So had we pushed our little ghostly friend just a little bit further, there would have been a statue for him to ignite as well. And you know, I would say that I'm a bit hesitant to actually want to light those because they're very reminiscent of the Lord of Doors. So I don't know if it's a good thing or bad. And they are, uh, you know, they are lit up in red. So I can't imagine, you know, that means that they are somehow associated with soul power, right? So I don't know if they're good or bad. I guess we'll find out though, right? This was a door, or this led to a door. Wait, this might have just led to the Vitality Shrine, yeah. But there's another area very similar to this that leads to a big, big door. And uh, it's it was glowing with green lights. Um, but not the first time I went to see it. So I wonder if we can find that again. It's on the cliff face. I know that. It's probably down here, actually. It's close. I know that. All right, so we're going to go down this way and back to the left. Yeah, it's over here. I remember there was a life seed and then we came down. So this must be like if we open. Oh, I already know what it is. I already know. So pretty much we have to switch it to nighttime. And we have to light up all of these, uh, these little statues here. And when the statues light up. Then I bet I, I get I bet every single one. So that means there's three, four, five, six. There's seven statues that we need to light up. And once we get them, I bet this door will open. Simple as that. Okay, cool. I'm pretty sure that's what how it works. And I'm just kind of guessing. I have no clue. I haven't looked at anything. As per usual, I'm just playing blind. This is my first playthrough, so I've already beat the game. Now we're just kind of in end game mode, trying to figure out and find all the rest of the secrets. The tower should be over here. See, as a matter of fact, this looks like the tower. But how do we get there? Let's see, there's nothing over here. That I can see anyways. Alright, it's definitely over there. I'm sure we can maybe uh, hook shot now or something that we couldn't do before. That means there's a tunnel over there we need to slam through. I just don't know how to get there just yet. You know, the funny thing is, can we even hook shot to some of those statues? Let's jump down here and kill these fools real quick. Now, how... Does one get in here? Because that's the tower right there. It looks like it somehow can maybe be raised or... Ah, uh, I already know. Haha. <laughs> I know the secret. You see those little sconces? They need to be lit. But how do we get up there? There's platforms high enough for us to reuse them. So maybe we just have to do a little tricky... I hope it's not like this hard, but... Could very well be. I might be thinking about too much. Hold on. I might be overthinking this, but those aren't lit. And I guarantee that if they were, that would allow us to go here. Yeah, okay. That's probably going to lower this little gate here. You guys are probably like, what the heck is he talking I'm talking about this gate right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm going to take a guess, okay? And I'm going to take a shot here and see if we're right. We do have enough juice to shoot some fireballs. And that's probably why the camera is so widely panned here, too. Ooh, I don't know if I... No? Don't quite have the aim. Okay, so maybe we're just a little too high for it. Dang it. Let's 
go down here because I think the other door is to the guardian of doors so we don't want to go down there just yet this was the zip line area where we went to uh, I think it was the frogs area the overgrown ruins so we're gonna come back over here oh I can jump down here can't I let's see what this is real quick yeah this is just the path to the overgrown ruins we can hit these just want to make sure this is where we fought the guardian of doors and this should be right where we're just at okay good so we've come full circle well there are plenty of secrets around here i just need to find them all i think this is the beginning of it right here we got a soul energy mass let's go check if there's anything hidden up here probably not Ah, I lied. I spoke too soon. Excellent. There's a door here. And it says it has bombs on it. That's pretty cool. Maybe it's a challenge door. That's really cool. Oh, my. Okay. Ow. Maybe the weakness is... Oh, his bombs. Nope, I'm dead. Similar to what the uh, the Lord of Doors did, he would trap you there. I do not feel like dying. Let's be really cautious now. Oh, it's a bomb upgrade. I bet I guarantee it's a bomb upgrade. I'm dead. Ooh, I saw that a little too late. Well, that is interesting, but I'm glad we found that. Yes, I will try again. I'm so glad it doesn't have to take it. We don't have to go all the way back. It didn't take us back to like a, a checkpoint. In fact, our checkpoint is right at this challenge. So I bet it's a bomb upgrade. It's got to be. Oh, okay. I got to watch out for that attack. <laughs> Nope, he's gonna hit me. Yep. Fortunately, that has like the worst radius ever, but. He's throwing all kinds of bombs at us. Those just paralyze us. Unfortunately, that attack finally connected. Almost cost us dearly. And we got him. Second try. All right, let's get this bomb upgrade. A silent servant has been vanquished and their soul power added to yours. Your bomb spell no longer damages you, only your foes. Nice, because that was incredibly annoying. I remember actually almost killing myself using my own bombs. Very cool. So now we need to find more areas just like that and I'm sure maybe there's upgrades for everything maybe an extension to the um, you know to the hook shot and things like that because look every item now my bombs are actually they're not grayed out anymore so it's very possible all right so how do I slam down on this thing there's no like jump attack. So I need to use my hook shot. But from where? From the bridge. Okay, I got it. Dang it. You gotta actually have your big brain in this one activated. If not, you're gonna flub up. So let's go over here and we're gonna climb up the ladder. Then we'll hook shot from the bridge area. There it is. There it is. Oh. Hi-ya! 
Now we're underground. We're just traversing the tower, Super Mario style. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And we got the Soul Energy Mask there as well. Perfect. Okay. Let's go down here real quick and hope we don't die. There should be nothing here except our little friend. We don't need to go to the overgrown ruins just yet. So we're going to go back up the lift. And then we're going to explore on the other side. Um, there was a little bit more to the... Near the area where you face off with the guardian of the door. I want to see if I can figure that out. Let's go here. Did I ever figure this one out? I don't believe I did many of these back then, yeah. I didn't know how to activate them, so... I'm glad we're picking up these little soul energy masses. These are perfect. This is going to be great for continuously upgrading the rest of our abilities. Just in case there's anything else we're missing. So we got through those. What next? This is just the area to... Steadhone, or typically, right? So I think, yeah, let's try. Let's try and give it a shot. Let's first. Let's try and kill him. You've certainly been keeping me busy. However, it's nice to have something to focus on. Sending the dead on their journey may seem like a depressing task, but it gives me a sense of purpose. I still can't kill. I came through this door at some point. I think. Me thinks. All right. Let's uh. Let's try to activate these doors again. And maybe you have to do it all in one try and one life because I did take damage and I don't think it liked that. I did die actually. And it looks like the rooms may have, the stones or statues may have reset. That's fine. It is now nighttime in the Forgotten Lands. Okay. Nope, it's good. It's still activated. No, that's the Urn Witch. We're going to go there later. We're still exploring the Lost Cemetery. That's pr pretty much the focus of this area for now. There are still a few puzzles that I'm working to figure out. Get in there, buddy. Go to your hole. Okay, good. Perfect. We gotta look for similar statues. There's one down below. That must mean there's a statue nearby. Uh. No, yeah, you come over here, bud. I know where yours is. Come here. Gotta give him soul carrots. See, he's right over there, see? Come on. Keep following me, because if you go too far, they lose interest. Yeah. Go to your little statue. Go on. That's a good boy. Okay, perfect. So look, let's go check our theory out. Blah, blah, blah up. Yep. We have four left to go. We are super intelligent. So let me go back to the bridge area and see if I can save, or not save, but have that little red buddy activate his corresponding statue. So I believe the bridge was over here. Oh, I didn't even see that. I haven't seen that this whole time. Give me something good. Soul energy mass. Good stuff. Wait, there's nothing over here. I need to go back up. Where's that bridge at? How do I get lost already? How do I jump off this bridge? I know that's probably the worst question to ask. And don't Google that. Let's see. Uh, we'll go this way. Ooh, a life. That's not a life. See, that's just... A flower. 
Um, can I break this? No. Can I? Nope. I have to go around the old-fashioned way, huh? Go down here. this way. I'm thinking this is the right area, but I, I might be a little bit too far off. Come on, bud. Let's go take you to your little statue. Come on. Go in there. I think we have three left now. Go, go, go. So, okay, good job. And you? Where's your little statue? Come down here with me. No, no, no. Y'all get... No, don't fight over it. Don't be greedy. <laughs> Somebody go in there. Okay. He took it. Sorry. What's in here? Oh, yeah. I've been in here. I don't remember what... Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, soul, bro. Da -da -da, come over here. Oh, okay, cool. Never mind. Don't come in there. Just do what you're doing. All right, and then there's one over here by the bridge, right? I thought. Where is the last little buddy? Soul Bros. Not here. And that door we don't need to go into because that's just going to take us back to the Hall of Doors. So we don't need to go back there just yet. We do need to find the other soul, though. So there's two there. One, two. So I think we just need one left. Let's go search over here, I guess. There would be three. I guess we're going to try and progress as the game would intend, you know, the game intended. And see if this is the pathway. Because normally we'd have to go this way, actually. I sure don't remember seeing anybody down here, but. Let's see, do I. No, that's just a bridge. Okay. Oh, where, oh, where can you be? Hi, little buds. What's down here? Oh, yeah, this area. That's right. Um, let's kill all these guys. All right, how do I... We would have come through that door there. And then we'd go through here. I think I was stopped because I couldn't actually access any additional areas because I lacked the abilities. Not the courage. Simply the abilities. And I think there was a secret up on this side. Let's go check it out. Yeah, that was the soup. It was like the noodles or something. Okay, and it doesn't help. I don't know why I just did that. It's fine. That guy's chasing me. It kind of makes me mad. Let me go kill him real quick. There it is. He's a little too aggressive for my liking. All right, so let's go back. We can go up this ladder. I completely forgot about this area. But it had a bunch of, uh, of those crosses that we can hook shot to. So let's go check this out. Yeah, okay, there you go. Perfect. So now we'll be able to use the blast here. Our soul, sp our, what do you call it? Spirit bomb. Love it. We can hook shot over. Hook shot over. There you go. How come nothing? Oh, it's timed? What the? Ooh! It's timed.
Oh, I don't have any juice. That's great. At least we got one of those replenishing urns there, courtesy of the Witch of Urns. All right, here goes. We're going to try that again. There it is. Perfect. Okay, that took a little bit of timing. This is going to be our upgrade for the bow. We just got an upgrade for the bomb. So this is really cool. All right, let's see. Can we do it? Oh, the backstab. I hate that. The backslash. Oh, that's great. The bombs. Do they have... Okay. Oh, I can't reflect them back. I was going to say, do they have homing properties? No. They just go in circles. Let's try that again, but this time with full health. And let's destroy this dude. This silent guardian. Oh, another one of those backslashes. You got me twice there. You won't get me thrice. Or will he? He did. I'm dead. Whoo! Dang it. Okay, let's try that again. I didn't even see I didn't even see any cracks on him yet, so that must mean he's got plenty of health. Almost killed myself there. Oh, you're annoying. At least all of these silent guardians have slightly different attacks. That actually makes it kind of fun. Challenging. Especially with those indestructible balls that protect him. That's awesome. He's going to shoot his, uh, his little flurry of missiles here, similar to the Guardian of Doors. do it again. Now what we need to do is just avoid the crosshairs. That would be really detrimental if uh, oh, if I was a little bit closer and I almost touched him. Still have two hits so we're going to try and finish him off quickly here. I died. That guy's tough. He had a lot of cracks on him, so... For oh, wait, wait, we beat him. What? So what was my guy laying on the side for? <laughs> what was that? A silent servant has been vanquished and their soul power added to yours. Holding your arrow spell for longer will now charge your shot and cause more damage. Well, that's cool, but what the heck? I thought I just died. My guy was laying down like, uh, like he had too much to eat. That's awesome. Well, that was cool. We got the upgrade to the bow as well, and now the bomb. Really cool. Let's check it out real quick. Nice. Very cool. Oh, let's, oh, let's actually check it out. Check it out. Remember, our magic is not upgraded at all, so one of these charge shots is finishing them off. That's pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and refill our health, and let's get out of here. I'm really happy that I found that. 
I stumbled upon it, really. I completely forgot about this area. So let's make our way out and uh, see if we can light up the very last statue with one of our little red soul bros. He should be around here somewhere. I don't think I've ex oh, yeah I have. I, was, I don't think I ex I've explored over there just yet, but I did. Hey, you're new. Oh, you know what? We're gonna use our new arrow attack. That is incredibly powerful. And I haven't even upgraded my magic once yet. He just came there, actually, because he wasn't there before. So are you special? You're not special. I just need one more of those little soul guys, I think. If not, we'll go back and check. Maybe I miscounted, but I'm fairly certain I needed four, and I recall activating three. I think it was a total of seven. Wait, what? There he is. All right, where's your little buddy at? He doesn't want to go over here, so maybe it's this way? Mayhaps. Ah, what's Steadhone doing? <laughs> He's just taking a nap. Oh, cause it's night time. Maybe that's how I can kill him. I can sneak attack him. Cause I definitely want to kill him. I mean, because I'm trying to help him, of course. <laughs> Come on, ghost. Where's your little soul supposed to go? Well, here's your statue. Go up here. I'm looking. I'm not seeing anything. I really doubt that there's any... Oh, okay. There's nothing up there. The summit has been destroyed entirely. Utterly destroyed. Don't think there's anything here either. Oh goodness. Come on. There's got to be one of them. I remember noticing the statues, but never really remembering or taking note of where they were. You would think that there would be another one on this side, but I don't see one. I think I took little buddy way too far. They're usually very close. So I probably just overdid that one. Let's go a sneak attack, stead hone, and kill him. Evening, Reaper. I don't really sleep anymore, but I lie here each night wondering how it feels to no longer be living. If we were dead, would we even know? You'll find out one day, buddy. I'll usher you to the other side. Another passageway there. Okay, I don't know. We need to go back to the area where we faced off with the guardian of uh, of the door. So we can find that dang statue. Because he was over here. Come on. Why are you so shy? We're going to knock you down this way instead. Oh, it's right here. Good gosh. It's always 10 feet away, and I'm over here taking him across the map. Uh, thank you. It's going to show me a cutscene of the door opening. We're going to do something awesome.
All right. Let's go back, if I can remember how to get there. I know that it's on the uh, the cliff face. It's kind of in a weird area. Let's see here. I think it's actually past this. Across the bridge, maybe. That guy's dead dead, and he just stayed there. That's the zip line area, so that can't be it. Oh, maps. And this game, to my knowledge, doesn't have an in-game map, so you kind of have to commit everything to memory and figure it out. Oh, while I'm here, let's see if I can light those little sconces again. I doubt it. I cannot. And here we are. We're going to drop down here, figure out what this awesome, hopefully, reward is. You have acquired an ancient tablet of knowledge. You feel its eye gazing into your soul. Awesome. Is that a... Uh, that is not a shiny thing. Okay. Ancient tablet. I don't know where that's supposed to. Oh, it's supposed to go to that door. We got to go back to the crow area. Let's see if I can remember how to get it there. So I'm pretty confident that we did our best in exploring this area. Um, I would like to leave it so that I can see. I think the ma one major secret is going to be right over here, which we've yet to obtain. I'm going to try one more thing before we depart from this area. Um, and then, of course, we will come back. And we'll revisit it to see if we can find its juicy secrets later. But it has to do with, in my opinion, lighting these little sconces here. Um, and I don't know how to get the proper angle to do that. Because it looks like there's these little platforms here. I guess technically you couldn't, huh? I don't know. I just know that that is the twin tower right there. And I want inside of it. So that's got to be it. But anyways, okay, that was my attempt. Uh, let's go in this doorway here. Let's check to see if it still has the red outline or if it's got maybe the one of those horizontal white glowing lines now. I honestly don't understand the difference between the two. But let's check it out. The Lost Cemetery still has, uh, of course, the red outline, so that means we probably haven't completed everything just yet interesting okay so fair enough um we need to go back to our little buddies and i don't remember where i was at i think that was near betty right that was the lord's door over there i want to say we were by uh oh was it the old watch towers maybe so this is the urn witch's area Uh, okay, that's not it. Should be a simple stroll, but of course, it is not. Down this way. Yeah, it's got to be over here, right? One of these. The old watchtowers. Camp of the Free Crow. There it is. So we're returning to the camp so that we can hopefully install the ancient tablet and see what that does. Because I'm assuming there's going to be these tablets hidden all throughout. Oh, let me level up real quick. Nice, okay. There you go. So we lit up one of seven of these ancient tablets. Uh, I can only imagine that there's something really cool on the other side of that. 
So I can't. I just really wonder what that would be. Maybe a secret weapon or. That is awesome. That guy's just taking a nap. He says, quite late for an adventure, eh? I couldn't sleep myself. I'm too excited at the prospects of the future. The air tonight has an extra fresh quality about it, don't you think? Oh, it's nighttime. <laughs> Giant squid? Zzz, okay. Is this our, our ball plart? Ah, the simple joy of TV. Some say it's not good for you to watch it all the time, but you've got to allow yourself a reward now and again. You know what we're going to try and do then is... Um, so that was area number one. So I guess the next thing t that would make sense to do is to go through the next area that we visited, which would be that area right around the uh, the Urn Witch. I think it was her estate. Um, but I would like to go through that area uh, using the Lost Cemetery passageway just because you kind of get to the very first, like a, a kind of an introductory area to this to this. Um, that kind of leads you to it. So maybe in that transitional area, I could have missed something. And I'll explain what I'm talking about here in a moment. But we're going to go back to the Lost Cemetery, which should be here. And then we're going to go up north over by the summit so that we can reach the, uh, the Urn Witch's Manor or her estate, I think. It's really just going to be the outer garden area. So let's check it out. And we're just climbing around here trying to find our way back to the northern passageway. Which should be around here somewhere. I think it's actually going to be this way. I wish I could figure out that tower thing. And I don't know if the red doors mean it's incomplete. I'm just kind of guessing, but I honestly don't know. It is nighttime, and I wonder if that's going to be a problem. I uh, Maybe I should revert it back to daytime. You know what? I'm not going to do that because there wasn't anything that seemingly required daytime. So... Let's see. Where's that urn witch's place? Because I was actually heading towards Betty's on accident. Betty the Yeti. Probably up here. Here it is. There you go. And this is that little transitional area because I don't think there's a door that leads us to this spot. And it's likely that we missed something. I don't know. I don't think we did, but... It is a possibility, so I'd like to make sure that we've explored every inch of this place. Yeah, there's nothing. I remember now. And this should just be a little L-shaped passageway. Oh, ho, ho. I spoke too soon. There is indeed a secret. And this is the update for the, uh, the upgrade for the flame. The flame spell. Wow, so we've got three or four upgrades already. Or we're about to. I'm kind of over speaking here, but I'm confident. Oh, another one of these guys. Oh, goody. Now he's going to be surrounded by these things. Please don't keep shooting those things everywhere. Brotholomew, don't do it. Oh, I got hit right in the face. He just loves spamming that jump attack. How the heck am I supposed to dodge in and out? Oh, you're kind of cramping my style with those balls, man. Dang it. Balls! No pun intended. All right, here he goes. Oh, gosh. 
trying to dodge in and out and oh my head I think if I do this he's gonna my up he's gonna jump at me no he's not are you gonna jump at me yes you are that that baits the jump you're not nice how am I supposed to get in there? Okay. I got in there. Fire spell activate. Yeah, he's just floating around on his side like, whoa. A silent servant has been vanquished and their soul power added to yours. Your fireball spell now burns enemies for extra damage over time. Excellent. So now we've got three of four upgrades already in this, this one stream. I'm super excited about that. Um, let's consume. Who is this? Like, who's this person? <laughs> Wish I could find out. That'd be really cool. But anyways, like I said, I'm super glad that we visited this transitional area. Because had we not, we would have skipped the upgrade for the flame spell. So, I can only imagine there's probably one that's going to be very similar in, uh... Possibly the Overgrown Ruins, or even the um, the passageway to Betty, the Yetis. So I hope that we find all four. That'd be fantastic. I can only I I don't think we're gonna find all four today in this stream because I'm now specifically in the Witch of Urns location. But let's do what we can to explore as much as possible. There was a life seed over here, if I recall correctly, so there shouldn't be anything else. Alright, what do we got? I think this is where we had, like, they employed the heavy usage of the arrows. Yeah. I remember now. This was a fun little area, though. I actually did enjoy it. There was a soul energy mass over there. Oh, we got these. This passage. I didn't even notice it the first time. Nice. So we can probably light those little incense thingies. Probably get a life seed out of this, right? No. Oh, you stingy. Stingy today. this time it's probably time that opened up this door over here but let's check oh gosh I fell camera so let's go this way let's see what's hidden in these giant crates over here nothing uh okay just empty crates That's strange. You'd think there'd be something over there. Alright, let's go this way. Get the soul energy mass. That can't be it. Or can it? I guess that is it, huh? I guess, again, this is for the uh, the completionist, right? They have to do all these little things and solve all these little puzzles to get every last bit. But that's fine. That's kind of what we're here for. Ah, I remember this too. We're going to need the chain here. This is kind of where I said, hey, there's got to be some sort of like grapple hook ability. And we've got another soul energy mass. Just a few more before we can upgrade again. I think we'll need probably up to a thousand. There's a soul energy mass just teasing us right over there. So there must be a means to get to it. What's over there? A little passageway? Okay. Probably probably can be accessed over this way. Yep. Secret over there, but let's just make sure there's nothing else. Yeah, there is. Okay, there's like multiple secrets actually. So let's do this one first. And then we're going to climb up and get this soul energy mass. 
got it. Come back down. And then we are going to explore this passageway. It looks like there's another ladder. And this... Leads to something. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Where's Y? All that for a soul energy mass. Can I go this way? Yeah, I'm just going to keep spamming these things. Wait, let's just check. I know that's the obvious secret, but usually when there's an obvious secret, there's something a little bit more subtle. And not this time. Let's go back and you know Mario it up. Dun 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 What the heck did this do? Nothing. Okay. Oh, dang it! That's what I was supposed to do. Darn! I was supposed to hook shot across. That's okay. Where? was I let's go back and explore that again I don't remember where that bush was though <laughs> where was it I think it was at the very entrance actually yeah right here so we're gonna go back over here climb up this is gonna be very hookshot intensive and again I for whatever reason even though I said it I didn't do it but this one's more forgiving it's given give us a little extra time here. We're gonna hook shot across, drop down, do our little Mario thing. That'll allow us to get to the other area. And then we're gonna come up this ladder. We're going to roll across. And then we're going to do this right here and completely miss our stab attack stab okay and then once we get up back to the surface we are going to hook shot across yes perfect dun 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 where's this gonna take us and where are we? Oh yes, all this for one of these bad boys. Um, but why? Oh, ambush. And he's still getting me every time. It's me every time that guy. Every time. Okay, I wasn't sure if I could hit them. Well, I want to do that again. That seems important. Maybe it's uh, the last weapon, the weapon that we don't have. Or maybe the last weapon can be obtained through, uh, you know, I guess returning all those ancient stone tablets back to that special door. All right. Uh, let's see. Where? Well, I think I went up here. And we're going to have to do the Mario thing again. Okay, let's see this way I think it was over here possibly mm, no it's actually back more okay I'm gonna remember eventually there it is good thing is we're getting a ton of soul energy masses and that's gonna prove very useful for us I'm not sure why I didn't hook shot across I'm gonna do that probably every time it's just the thing to do. All right. So we're going to go through these little secret tunnels here. We're going to climb up this tower and then we're going to roll across. Actually, we don't have to roll across. We can do that. Haha. -ha. Once we get back up to the surface, we're going to hook shot to the other tower. 
we're going to slam down again. And then eventually we'll surface to where the soul energy mass was on the other side of this little uh, like garden area, this bush area here. And then we're going to kill everybody. Yes, they hit each other. That was awesome. Keep doing that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Perfect. One shot. I love that. I hate these little guys that shoot the green things. Woohoo! Okay, you can't strike those. As much as I want to punch them, you can't. You just can't do it. Alright, so they're finished. Let's see what's over here. I'm hoping it's that last set of uh, weapons. But you know what? I think I've actually been here. <laughs> Maybe I haven't. No, I haven't. I lie. Ooh. You found a sludge-filled urn. Despite being almost black, the liquid somehow emanates a, emanates a strange glow. Weird. So let's read about it. Where's this yucky thing? An ornate urn containing some kind of viscous sludge. Even when the bottle is at rest, the sludge writhes as if imbued with some life of its own. Better not to ask what it's made from. You know what? We didn't read about the rusty bell tower key either. A strange novelty. A rusty old key made of metal. This kind of technology was used many centuries ago before soul-based key and lock systems became the norm. This must fit into an equally old and rusty metal lock. And it sure did. Alright, let's open up this right over here. Or push the lever. Sorry, push the lever. And that's the secret. Cool. Well, that was worth it totally worth it okay so now that we're here we can go ahead and explore this way as well and let's blast these blocks here get this soul energy mass and now we're at 700 we're looking pretty good And let's keep searching around, just trying to see. I think I just went over there. Let's kill this little buddy over here. I think we've done pretty well. I remember there being a really strange uh, set of urns that were kind of placed on like it looked like a checkerboard almost and I don't remember where that was at but I think it was a little bit closer to the main entrance but I'm going to try and search for it while we're here in this area and if we can't find it that's no biggie Yeah, I don't think it's over here, so. Yep, and then we've already explored those secrets. Okay, perfect. So we're going to continue onward uh, straight towards the door of the mansion. And then we're going to start searching around again on this side. I don't think there was much we could do here. I think there was a soul energy mass that we grabbed. Last time, yeah. Wait, maybe. Yeah. And then we push the lever, I think, which dropped the ladder at that point. 
Oh my, that's a big ugly guy, isn't it? Oh, lovely. That does hurt. If you stick around in the uh, the toxic fumes for long enough, it definitely hurts you. Yeah, it might be over here, actually. Yep, this is it. So this is the other area. I don't remember, you know, I don't really know what to do. The family tomb, okay. So I don't know. There's got to be some sort of puzzle attached to it. We'll have to figure that out uh, at some point. I don't know. It's probably just a special order because to destroy them in a special pattern you have to make or something. I don't know. Oh, that one took. That one took. What? Ah, okay. Wait, so that was really weird. Whoops. Oh, gosh. Oh, that worked? Dang it. Grandpa. Okay, so... See, my attack is so strong now. It's like destroying everything. Can I kill it with one of these little guys instead? Okay, it doesn't like that. Maybe it's just a timing thing? Am I supposed to destroy them all? Nope. You know what? I'm going to figure you out somehow. Just you wait. Let's bomb this real quick. Pick up the soul energy mass. Bomb this real quick. The Garden of Love. Okay, well, I am still confused. But we're going to figure that out. It's a puzzle that we'll probably end up seeing the solution for somewhere. I don't know. I think I came over here and there's a shrine. Yeah, there's a uh, magic shrine back there, actually. And I guess the next best thing to do is explore this side. Because that was the left, and then we'll go to the right. See if there's anything we may have missed in our first... Because in this area, we were pretty much running through it. And this is where we faced off with the discount Smo for the first time. And it was a pretty difficult uh, enemy, so... We didn't spend a lot of time just uh, lollygagging around, you know? So we'll go down this way. There's another life, but there's a golden enemy there. What's he doing over here? Ouch. I'm going to kill you so hard. Okay. So I lit it, but what did that do? I'm gonna light that too. It's probably gonna open a bridge that crosses that way. I can just picture it now. Yep, that was just a little obvious. And I see a ladder. So that's gonna lead us to yet another secret. Man, I love secrets. Gosh, they're good. So good. All right. Oh, nice. We got a, a vitality shrine. We've been waiting for one of these. This is, I think, hopefully the third or fourth that we've got. Let's see. The ancient shrine offers you a shard from a vitality crystal. You now have three shards. One more will raise your vitality. Excellent. Well, I am happy about that. That's makes me happy. What does this button do? We've got the hook shot. So we're probably gonna have to hook shot a few more times. Soul energy mass. That's I'm putting my money on it.
I love it. You know what? I'm a little curious though. Was there anything else on the off side that I just didn't see? Because there was a weird little stretch kind of pointing off to the right. Maybe. I wonder what the hook shot uh, of, you know, power up is going to be, if there even is one. Is it going to be like extended hook shot range? Probably not. Okay. Never mind. That's kind of weird. Why is that there? Anything back there? Let's go back this way. I'm curious if you have to fill all the the life pots, if that's like something you have to do. Like, you must activate all the life pots. Oh my gosh. What the heck is that? I almost punched it. Oh, her head went the other way. What are you doing, bud? Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> she just gave it to me. You have acquired a shard of an ancient tablet of knowledge. It is incomplete, yet you feel a mysterious energy coursing through it. Okay. So that's different because the other one was complete. This one's just half of it. Oh, that's a dead guy. We need to put it together, that's for sure. So where's the other half? That's really cool. So we got half of the uh, ancient tablet of knowledge. I don't know where the other half would be, though. She did fly off in this direction, but I can only imagine it's probably not going to be that easy. Like, hey, go follow her. <laughs> oh, I wish it was. Dang it. So I need to know. Maybe now she's over there with the area that we were hookshotting around. Because it's possible that we should have encountered her from this angle and then came down this way, right? Maybe, maybe. Oh, man. I want to find her. He's grasping at straws, but that would be really cool if we could find her out here. We got half of it. And the tricky part is you never really know... But, you know, they're not in your inventory anywhere, so it's kind of hard to keep track of. But we are confident that we just have half of it. So. Let's see. Let's go inside the mansion here. All right. We're going to go inside and uh, you know what I want to do at some point is I want to actually check to see, you know, okay, hold on a second. Those pots are usually for keys. So I would like to see if um, maybe those were actually used to open certain doors. Maybe, I don't know. But I, the reason why I left is because I wanted to see if they, did, we, did we get everything or not. The Urn Witch's Laboratory, Inner Furnace, the Estate. So I don't know. I don't think it, I don't know how to tell. <laughs> I'm still so confused. I don't know what the red aura means. To me, it means incomplete or like wrong. So I, even though I love the color red, but I think that's what it's trying to tell me, though. All right, let me think for a second. Uh, I think the we're gonna go left here. This was an area that let us. Oh yes, yeah, so to the little spinning dude. We'll face off with. Uh, We'll go back to the area later. We already beat them, though, so we're going to go this way. Search around and see if there's going to be any explosive or barricades we need to blow up or anything like that.
Those guys are just dead. And then we we did light that up. Okay. Uh. I'm just trying to keep my bearings, you know. I don't know if I can. Can I blow this up? I'd really like to. No, you can't. But what can we do? Oof, that hurts. That hurts. That little guy just running around. Oh, that was where, okay, I was going to say, that, is that a little platform that I have to slam down on? No, that was where a, a key was at some point in time. I forgot all about those things for a second. Those are just the, uh, the means for us to get the keys. This is a creepy little area. This is where we freed a crow. I don't know. I can't tell this is a passageway or not. It's not. And there's nothing else to explore. Oops. I don't remember the um, ambience being so creepy. Maybe because it's nighttime. And we're in a haunted mansion. Let's go this way real quick. Oh, I see. Okay. Nothing over here. There's the key over there. So yeah, let's just climb up this ladder and then see what's on this side. Yeah, I honestly don't remember. Again, I am incredibly curious to know if it's important for us to activate all the life pots, right? To plant seeds in them or not. If so, that's going to be super annoying. But I'll find out because I'm going to try and find every single secret first and then see if it is important that we uh, activate the life pots as well. I remember there being this strange area. I don't even know. Let me see. Where, where would this take us again? That takes us to back to the Hall of Doors. This is where we came down at some point. I just came through here. So I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something. There's a. W I remember there's like an area beyond this. Maybe not. I'm going to go back down. Because I've been in every door so far. But I stopped exploring after this area right here. Let's go back up. This is where we found a life seed, I think. Uh, let me. Oh my gosh! Oh, he scared me. This is where we had that strange, invisible door that led us to a shrine. Where's the other pot? Is there another pot? I think you just go through it now. We already activated that. Is there anything over here? Just a creepy bedroom. And then there is a passageway. I swear that I didn't remember hearing all this creepy... <laughs> in the mansion. I think it's because it's nighttime. And there doesn't seem to be too many other secrets in here. Kind of...
let's heal real quick and keep going through this is where we freed another crow it's probably this way right no passageway of course not we're gonna go back oh my gosh I almost killed the little cheeky I'm sorry guys I'm sorry I didn't mean that of course so we're gonna go back we need to explore the rest of the areas let's do a clean sweep so let's make sure there's nothing in here let's go back this let's just check this out real quick is that where I came from I think I might have came from there and then there's this this is where I was trying to get to this is where that little door led us last time that'll take us to the main area so we'll go back there in just a second let's just explore and see if there's anything else I do not remember the creepy sounds like if anyone remembers those let me know because I don't it was kind of more happy-go-lucky and then we're up here we got the engage oh! we got the engagement ring So that was, yeah, there was nothing else over there. We got the engagement ring on the far end of this room. There's baby bat things everywhere. We got the last crow on the top of the room. I don't remember where this takes us. Okay, this is the second time we've dropped down here. Now let's just go to the very entrance and see kind of where we're at. Okay, so this is where we started. That's like the inner furnace thing. I don't remember going this way. Oh, yeah, I did. I couldn't blow up that... Uh... Oh, look at this! Nice! I didn't even notice that. We gotta be mindful and see if there's any others. Oh, my gosh. One of these things. This game is very... Ugh, I don't know. It's, it's a little like you move and if you move the stick, you move like a half second later. Oh, gosh. Come on. Little, there's a little toe. He look at his little toes. They're so cute. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see what this is. You found an old photograph. What a lovely couple. I wonder if they lived happily ever after. Let's check it out. Let's check it out and see what's got. Oh, cool. So that means there's probably one other relic here. Uh, old photograph. An old sun-damaged photo of a couple at their wedding. A treasured memory of better times. It looks like something might have... Wait, wait. It looks like someone might have used it to draw on. Inspect. <gasps> this is the statue of the Garden of Love. And this is the order in which to destroy. I love it. Let's go do it. Let's do it. Spike that. Oh, sorry. It's an inside joke. All right. So let's see here. How do I? I I don't know. I'm confused. I just need to get home. Okay, there. Let's go back outside to the estate area. Come on, little chickies. You know, I am really confused. I wonder if there were any other of those urns. I don't recall any others. Ugh, I really hope that those were all of them because I'm going to be super, super pissed. if, Because we went through pretty much that entire estate. It was mostly just to free the four crows and open the ancient door, so... Let's go back to the Garden of Love, which I believe is back this way and to the left. I'm just tanking everything. I don't care. Give me all that. And go this way. Okay. Let's take a look at this again. There's like five... Oh. Five urns we must destroy. One, two... Okay, so... I gotta remember this in my head. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay. What? That doesn't make any sense. 
Hold on, that makes no sense. Hold on. Yeah, it does. Ah, I destroyed half of them. I'm gonna have to use the arrow. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, I can't use a fire spell. Dang. Damn it, one. Okay, I gotta destroy them all again. Sorry, guys. Destroy! Okay. One. Two. Three. I don't remember where, where five was. I'm gonna assume this is five. That was five. Oh my gosh. I just kind of guessed, sort of remembered. I love it. Let's open it. Let's see what this does. Do, 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 do. Pretty little area. Well, I guess we can explore around. Let's see here. Oh, I see a relic. And look at that. There's a... Uh, I'm not sure what this means, but this is green. A green door. There weren't any ghosts in this area, so maybe it is the life pots. We'll test it out in just a second. Oh, this is cool. What is this, another weapon? You found a rusty garden trowel. This looks quite fancy. It must have belonged to someone who loves taking care of plants and flowers. Can I go in here? Uh, oh, it's not a weapon. Dang it. Rusty garden trowel. An old garden trowel used for digging small holes in which to plant seeds. It has clearly been used, uh, been well used. A light coating of rust forming on the blade. The finer details of the handle have now been worn away through years of happy use. Its previous owner took good care of it. They must have been a keen horticulturist. An inscription engraved on the moon on the metal reads, In the moon's light, I will appear bright if a seed is within my sight. That's pretty cool. So maybe it can, I can now spot seeds because I have changed it to nighttime. So maybe that helps. Okay, let's test our theory really quickly. We do have 20 um, life seeds that we can use, but I just want to see... Okay, how far are we on this? I don't quite understand. So it's pretty much lined up with that little piece that's going around. So I'm just kind of using a visual aid here so I can see if this is going to help increase it because I wouldn't imagine you would need to light um, or fill two life pots in an area where there's no damage yep I'm right so you do need to actually plant all the seeds that is redonkulous there are so many in this area alone okay well at least we have 20 seeds to burn through and that will probably give us another piece of an ancient stone tablet. That might be the second half, to be honest. Let's go find all the dang life pots that we skipped. Because you know I only... I saved them. I, I was really sparing and really cautious with the use of these life seeds. I didn't want to burn through them. I figured there was going to be a lot more difficult sequences that were going to require more heals, but... Let's see here. What now? Okay, so there's a life pot there. Oh my gosh. There's so many that I skipped. And I wonder where it actually starts kind of counting them, you know? Probably right here. Probably right at the entrance, right? So let's do what we can to activate as many as possible. And I really did think that that was a part of it. I figured it might have been for an achievement. I didn't know that it was actually going to be for an in-game kind of accomplishment. But, that's fine. We've got plenty of seeds. And now the placement of the, uh, the life pots makes a little bit more sense because they always had them in areas that typically were after, you know, a, a huge ambush or something like that. And they didn't seem to make a ton of sense. And I always wonder, I was like, why do they place them so oddly? And I guess it's because, well, they want to have you go search for them later. 
and then go back this way. Sorry for the jerky camera movements. I'm just trying to uh, quickly get to the areas that we need to get to. Nothing over here. Oh, let's go back down this way instead. And I'm sure there's a few life seeds there. Or life pots we haven't seeded yet. Are you serious? Get out of my way. Remember uh, Jefferson? He mentioned a few things that were pretty interesting. He said, uh, he, he, told, he told us of a few secrets actually, or locations of several secrets. And he said one was under the witch's laboratory. Nothing over there. Okay. Let's just kill this guy. I haven't killed anybody in a while. I'm getting a little itchy. But that satisfied my uh, thirst for vengeance. Just long enough. Okay. There's that one that I know we lit. How many more do I need? Nothing over here. Okay, let's go back. I remember actually coming through this area after we first found the secret, so let's go back. And we're going to cross over to the far side of the map, where we're going to take the scenic route. I know there's got to be one over here somewhere. Nothing that way. And all we're trying to do, of course, is plant a few more pots. I imagine once we actually plant enough, that'll give us a, uh, a little cutscene saying, hey, you've done it. I really want to kill you because I feel you're going to hit me. That's going to make me mad. Right. Hopefully that doesn't count against my uh, my planting um, meter there for that door. That shouldn't, but I had to use it. Took some unnecessary damage. I'm thinking we're probably gonna need like three more. Where could they be? And I think over here again is that magic shrine area. I just get a little mixed up sometimes. It is. Okay, so now we'll come back this way. And I'm also curious that if I plant any in the actual mansion, does that count towards our total? I have a feeling that it won't because it is a separate loading screen, a whole different area. So we're gonna go back through this way and we're gonna go to the very beginning of this estate area. And we're going to find the rest of those pots that I know are just right around the corner. Of course, I love rolling into pots repeatedly. That just makes me so happy. Brings joy to my heart. All right, we're going to go back to the very, very beginning where it all started so we can get these pots going here. Let's see if there's anything further back. Because technically we're still in the same or similar area, so it should count. And this should be the very entrance. Okay, 
I'm confident that this is pretty much as far back as we should go. And I, eh, I was going to fall in there, but I feel like that would probably be ill-advised. There's a soul mass over there that we had obtained in the previous run, so I'm not going to concern ourselves with it now. I don't think there's anything back over here, oddly. Just empty crates. And there's just a quiet little area here with the soul energy mass. Okay. So maybe I do need to uh, go inside of the witch's estate and light some or plant some seeds there. Nothing back over here. There's a little secret area back here we can kind of use as a shortcut to see if there's any additional um, pots we can plant seeds in. Nope, and I can't get down. That sucks. Okay, we have to go the long way. Go back. We are very close, though, and I really want to make sure we do this before I end the stream because we found some pretty cool things. Let's go back and, and see if there's any way to gauge, you know, what all we have found. But in the meantime, we're going to try and search to see if there's anything else, any other uh, pots we might have missed. Oh, we got that one. Let's see. Nothing back over here either. Deja vu. There was there was a soul energy mass in here. But it doesn't look like there's anything else of use for us at this time. And then again, I think this would just be The area on the other side of those bushes that we couldn't cross just a few moments ago, yeah. There might be some uh, pots in here that I didn't use. Because this area is pretty easy. Not yet. Let's see. Yeah, I think we did explore all this. Yep. Well, darn. We're going to go back to the Garden of Love then and see... If those, uh, all the, those, I guess the meter is full. And if it's not, we're going to go inside of the estate because there's plenty just right around the corner that we can light up. Okay, so let's go up. And I believe it's going to be up and to the left as soon as the path branches off. Nothing back over there. Oh, lovely. Anything over here? <laughs> and again, all we're trying to do is double check on this little meter here on the door to see if there's any more uh, pots that we need to plant seeds into. Damn, there's a bunch. Okay, so. And there aren't any more in this area, so they do have to be located inside of the, uh, the mansion. So let's go ahead and start lighting those. And I'm glad I had a bunch of uh, life seeds because I, mean, I had 20 when we started this little experiment of ours. And we have searched pretty much the entire outside of the estate. And we haven't found any additional. And there's still probably, it's probably asking for maybe anywhere from five to six more to light. So 
Let's try this instead. Light the ones from inside as well. Let's see. Kind of doing things backwards, it looks like. Nothing in here. Back in the main door, that's fine. So let's go across, I guess. And let's go once more. That was a really cool secret that I definitely didn't notice. The first time, anyways. Ah, whatever. Uh, no pot in here. Let's climb up. Again, we had gone through most of these, so... I gotta say, I didn't commit them all to memory, so... You're gonna have to bear with me while we kind of search through and see if there's any additional pots we didn't uh, plant. That was when we came up here, and there was a little key ghost in there. There's a pot right there. Glad we found it. There was a crow over there, and okay, just an indestructible urn. We'll go across this way. I think there's one in here that I know I use because I almost died. Oh, never mind. Wrong area, but that's fine. Let's go up. Oh, gosh. That little sneaky bastard. Just checking before I climb the ladder if there is a pot over here. I don't believe there is, but there is one on top. That's good. So that's about two. We still have about 13 seeds left. This is just a crow that we had to... Uh, so a soul we had to free here. Let's come back downstairs. That's this main door over here. We've already explored that side. Damn, I don't know. What about in here? I don't remember going. I don't remember what's in here, actually. If we go to the ancient door, go through it, that just takes us back to the Hall of Doors, and there's really no need for us to go back there. There might be a few other secrets in that area, but um, I'd rather explore those a bit later. All right, I hope I'm not just burning through my life seeds here, even though a part of me feels like I may be. Is that a life seed up there? No. Jefferson did talk about a stray bull platform that could take us to a secret area. And it's very likely that it's he's talking about this area in particular. So if we do see one that seems out of place, or maybe one that's a little further away, I say we definitely check it out to see if we can find out you know, where to go. And in the meantime, of course, we're going to be looking for more pots. There was nothing up there, just a little energy uh, mass, if I recall correctly. So we're going to come across this way. It's probably one of these. This was a secret. I think there's a soul energy mass in here as well. Let's go this way. Because this may be that stray platform he's talking about. Maybe. Kind of just, I think it took us back to where we were at, right? Mayhaps. Yeah, it took us back to that one secret area that was right over here. And then we had to light this. It opened this door. And that was how we got the soul energy mass. Okay, so then let's try this way. Uh, 
and just keep moving forward. Man, it's so much easier when there are enemies, and I guess most of the enemies aren't here at night. Uh, it's probably just be so that you can focus on the puzzles. I want to see if... Okay, that's not destructible. It looked like a destructible wall. And to be honest, I haven't seen any yet that aren't indicated by those like those blocks that usually have like the blue line, so... Let's see, is this a stray bull door? A bull platform? That one is. How do I get to that? Oh, I just died. Okay. How the heck? Hold on a second. Okay. I think it, I might have to circle around to it or something. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I died. I didn't know that that, <laughs> that was a, a platform that would lead to my death. I thought that was barricaded off or as a wall. <laughs> I didn't know that it was just a, eh, just the uh, straight passageway to the abyss. All right, let's go back. Oh man, I have to go all the way back. That's amazing. We'll go back through here. We know that there's nothing hiding between or behind those crates. Go this way next. And there's nothing back over there. We're gonna go straight this way. Almost get a uh, fall off that platform again. We love doing that. Hold on, I just died. Why? Come back over here. Okay. Oh, he does move forward. I was going to say, why was I falling off the platforms? I forgot about that. He takes a step with every strike, so... Gotta be careful when whacking away at those uh, Minotaur dudes. And there's no platform here that allows you to uh, call this, you know, this bull platform back. So that's really weird. Uh, how do I make that come to me? Oh, I guess that's how. Let's go find a really cool secret, dudes. All right, what do we got? So far, I'm not impressed. Let's climb across these pipes. Easy does it. Yay! So he was telling me where the shrines were. This is my fourth uh, vitality shrine, which is going to increase our, uh, our life bar. We have five hit points instead of four. The completed crystal fills your soul with vigor, raising your vitality. Very nice. Now we can take five hits. So it looks like Jefferson was telling us locations of these, uh, of the, of the shrines. Okay, that's where they want us to proceed. Let me go back one, just because I do remember there's a passageway back over here. I don't remember where it led us to. Probably in a soul mass or at the time. Okay, that's fair. My curiosity is satisfied. All right, where to next? This is where we saw Pothead. And this was like the inner, inner furnace, right? If I recall. Yep. And again, we're looking for more uh, pots. So if we see any, we definitely need to go ahead and activate them. Even if we don't truly need them.
because I want to make sure that we can activate that door. That's right, these things keep coming. Infinite slime monsters. Pocky stick monsters. There's got to be a few that I didn't like in here. Oh, this guy was fun. I'm coming for you, bud. Just wait. Canister explodes and it gets me pretty much every time. Okay. Let's go back through here. We lit that. Boom, boom. Just, I know that I could have gone here earlier. I'm just trying to retrace my steps to make sure that I didn't skip anything or we don't go into a passageway that may have a pot that we can plant. Straight across over here. Big boy. Oh, he's big. And he's angry. Yes. I think there was one over here too. Maybe not. Pocky stick dude's doing his thing. We're gonna go back around or back across actually. back over there. I think there was like a life seat or something back then. Okay, now what? I don't see too many others. There must We must have used or activated most of them. I was like, he should be dead any second now. We lit that one as well. Oh my god, I fell. We're going to stand here on the platform. Great, great, great. How do I call this one over? Isn't one okay? Weird. Oh, whoops, I think I blew up. My arrows are bigger. Alright, where to? Where to next? Looking for these damn pots. This area sucked. Because of that guy, mostly. 
But everything's been activated, so we're going to be able to run right through it now. But still, it was pretty tough. Whenever we were just beating the game for the first time, this area was pretty tough to clear in general. There's another one up there. We'll go ahead and activate this pot just to get our health back to full. I would really like to activate all these stupid things. Because the boss is pretty much going to be in this next uh, room. So I don't know if there's any others. Oh yeah, there's a ton here. Oh, actually, no, I don't know if there's a ton of pots, but there's a ton of enemies here. <laughs> Alright, we're going to try to well, traverse this area pretty safely. Come on, come on. Okay. I did not like this area because you had to really time your attacks. Good stuff. And yeah, this is pretty much the boss. So no clue where we would have gone next. I wonder how many more we need. Let me check. I haven't actually been back to a boss area after defeating her. So let's see what it looks like. Uh, not much. Not much we can do here, but pretty cool. Alright, so that was the Urn Witch's Laboratory. Very interesting. Again, um, not sure if we got everything. Inner Furnace, looks like we got everything in there. So we just have these two areas still. The ceramic manor. That's the house. So what could I be missing in the house? Let's check it out again real quick and then we're going to call this one a stream because I am sleepy. Ceramic manor. What are you hiding from me? What is this? Okay, Making sure it wasn't anything. Nothing crazy. Climbing up. There very well could be one over here. I don't know. I don't remember. I wouldn't put it past. I love being so strong in this game, anyways. Excellent. There's one right there. See, I'm glad we searched. And again, placed so oddly that in the natural course of the game, I was like, what is wrong with the placement of these things? They're always after I need them most. That was probably the last one, to be honest. Very well, it could have been one up here, but I think there was just a soul energy mess. He's gonna hit me. Yeah, let's go back over here with the last free crow. You all are gonna die. You guys are driving me bonkers. Little cute bastards. They're so cute, but I don't want to kill them, but I have to. Ow. Alright, that was. And the uh, casual playthrough, even though you can beat them in one hit still, like, that area is kind of tough because, you, again, you only have four hits. So if you get tagged enough, you will die. Okay, so I think, yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume that was it. So I, I would like to step out and see if maybe that's, like, going to indicate that I've cleared the area because they should all, all be, uh, the door should no longer have a red aura. So let's test out our theory. That should have been the last one anyways. Yep, ceramic, that's how you do it. That's how you clear it out. So that means that the estate still has a pot that we are missing and I am going to find it.
Okay, we are at the estate. The little chickies are following me. All we need to do is find probably one or two pots and that should be it. Let's go this way. Up here again. Let's see. I don't think there were any on these little platforms, but I do want to check because I honestly don't recall. I was more focused on not forgetting to use the hook shot and to time my slam attack down. <laughs> and this might even allow us to really quickly survey the areas and see where uh, additional life pots might be. Because we're going through most of the map this way, actually. Just underground. Oh, gosh. Really? Okay. Here we go. A little zig, a little zag. And this is the same area we've been to multiple times, but we can't really go back now. So let's go ahead and walk all the way through. And then we'll appear pretty much right at the next to the door that we just entered to teleport to the estate. So we're going to be pretty much coming full circle. Um, I am so curious as to where these, uh, these this last life pot or two might be. funny thing was I was really hesitant to use the pots because I wanted to make sure they would last me you know I didn't want to burn through them all and be like dang it I don't have enough seeds and now I'm in this very difficult area but we never really had that you know there was a, a lot of times the ambushes you know once you got through them then afterwards you'd be able to heal up and prepare for the next area but very rarely did they set you up for success with the placement of those pots this okay well let's see here I'm glad that they uh, didn't reset that puzzle I want to see the meter again how far off are we hey look the pothead guys here Big face, I certainly wasn't expecting to see you here, especially at this hour. This is my secret garden. I come here sometimes to tend to my flowers and relax. Have you managed to grow any more seeds in the pots I left around? By my reckoning, there are still 13 pots left with nothing growing in them. Try looking around the overgrown ruins to the east. Are you joshing me? There are still 13 pots, and I only have like 12 seeds. So now we know. We know the, the way it's supposed to work is that uh, we're supposed to plant every single uh, pot. So we do need to head over to the overground ruins, but there is no way I can do that now because I am about to fall asleep. Not because this game is boring. This game's freaking amazing, but I'm just very tired. It was a long day, a long day. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. We were trying to, again, pursue 100% in Death's Door. We are exploring the end game. So after you defeat all of the bosses and the last Lord of Doors, you know, what's next in the game? Uh, there's clearly a series of puzzles and really interesting areas that we still need to explore. So I think we've done the best and explored all of these areas. Once we go to the Overgrown Ruins, we'll go ahead and search through every single 
uh, area and the overgrown ruins area as well. And once we're done clearing out each of those doors and making sure that they don't, they don't no longer have the uh, red auras, we plant all the seeds, we'll come back here and open this door. Um, I'm curious to see, and this will probably of course grant us with another ancient uh, fragment of that knowledge tab tablet thing. So I want to know what happens. Is there, I mean, all these additional power-ups are available after you defeated the bosses. So is there... Uh, you know something that we, maybe we can do like a like a, a secret boss that we're gonna face off with or something uh, i'm really interested to know or do you get like the ultimate weapon and then get to do a new game plus i don't know i'm super curious to find out what it is we have pretty much one more day to dedicate to this run before thursday on thursday uh the eldest souls game will be releasing for the switch so i'll be playing that as well um and we'll just try and go through that game and see how much we enjoy it if we enjoy it enough of course, we'll feature the lore on the main channel, and then we will try and do 100% if it even allows it. I don't know what kind of game it is. I haven't actually seen any gameplay. I just saw the story, and I know that it's kind of like a very heavily inspired from Souls, but it's also like hand-drawn 2D style. So really excited about how that's going to pan out. But hope to see you guys there on Thursday. Again, tomorrow we will continue our path to 100% for Death Door. And sometime before the end of this week, I will get to uh, the Muriel uh, boss fight and the Blighted Lord boss fight in Ender Lily so I can complete that guide for you guys. I didn't really hear back on anything if you wanted to see boss guides or not, so I did it in the form of shorts, but no one really watched them and I just felt like that took a little bit too much time, so I went ahead and got rid of those. I will only post, you know, maybe things like Easter eggs or fun little highlights on the shorts, but aside from that, I'm just going to stick to streaming. And hopefully you guys enjoy that content. But once we get to 1,000 subscribers, we'll be able to uh, kind of poll you guys and see what you like to see most. Let's go ahead and, uh, and wrap this one up. So today I found the rusted key and turned day to night. Today I found a ton of new secrets and upgraded three of four spells. And today I streamed Death's Door Endgame for your viewing pleasure. The fuck have you done lately? It's the Inhuman One signing out. Catch you guys next time.